As a doctor of audiology in the Bay Area, I've seen hearing tech evolve, but what's coming next is going to be crazy. AI powered hearing loss treatment, wearable health tracking devices, and tiny supercomputers in your ears. So the world's biggest tech leaders are already talking about it. Mark Zuckerberg recently discussed AI's potential to enhance human senses like vision and hearing through wearable technology. Meta, Google, and Apple are investing heavily in AI-driven wearables, and the future is happening faster than most people realize. And here's why this industry of hearing tech is exploding. First, the global hearing aid market was valued at about $13 billion in 2023, and AI is going to make that even bigger. Why, you might ask? Because hearing aids aren't just about hearing loss anymore. They're evolving into smart AI-powered assistants that will change the way we interact with the world. In this video, I'll share emerging innovations in the hearing tech space and what to expect very soon. You can see right here, I've got some hearing aids in front of me. These are some of the leading devices on the market. Now, we know for decades, we've seen wearables, headphones, and hearing aids change exponentially. In my line of work, seeing patients who have hearing loss, hearing aids have only been seen as a solution for treating their hearing loss. But that's about to change because what I'm seeing in the near future, hearing technology or things that people wear on their ears won't just help people hear better, they'll also be essential and be a part of an augmented reality experience. Think about Siri or Alexa, but 10 times better, just as one example. An assistant in your ear who can respond to your voice, do things on your behalf, and then tell you that they're done. So we're already seeing personal assistance embedded in your ears, real-time speech enhancement that makes voices crystal clear, and biosensors tracking your health like your heart rate or even detecting early signs of disease. So this isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. And if you think AI in hearing devices is scary, I get it. A lot of my patients, especially baby boomers, are skeptical, but I use AI every day. It's not scary, it's a powerful tool, and let's learn about how it can actually help us. Here's the thing, the best AI today you don't even notice. It's in your hearing aids doing work for you automatically. In some of the devices that I have here on the table, the technology is so advanced that it can automatically recognize when the individual is in a restaurant versus their living room versus a small group dinner at their home. And from the data of all of the users of these devices who make adjustments and submit the data to the companies, they can infer what are the best settings, what's the best sound, the volume, the decibel, the sound quality, etc., in different environments, and then automatically through AI, provide automatic changing features to the patients when they're in those environments. That means the AI in today's hearing aids doesn't ask the patient or the user to program anything. It just works. And that means a lot of people don't even have to adjust the devices at all. It can automatically make speech sound more clear. It can block out background noise to some degree. And it lets you go out to a restaurant with your friends and not miss a beat in the conversation. Now let's talk about what AI is actually doing for hearing aids today. Here's a common problem. You're in a crowded restaurant trying to hear a conversation, but the background noise makes it impossible. A solution is that AI powered hearing aids like the Phonak Audeo that I have in my hands right here on the table. You can see they have a thin wire right here, which goes alongside the skin. There's this small speaker, like a tweeter inside of the ear canal, and this rubber tip that has some natural holes in it, which goes in the ear canal. This piece sits up and behind the ear. I'll even put this up and behind my ear, just like this. You can see it has a piece inside of the ear canal right there. Looks very discreet. It's a supercomputer on my ears that can connect to all technology through Bluetooth and the internet, etc. So these types of devices, as well as other models like Oticon Intent, for example, use deep neural networks that are trained on millions of real world sounds to separate speech from noise without making things sound robotic or electronic. Another problem in the past that's now solved through AI 
is that someone could move through different environments between their quiet home, a noisy street, a busy office, a cocktail party, and they would have to change the programs in their hearing aids, and that would be quite cumbersome and unwanted. The solution with technology like Phonak as one example is AutoSense OS. They use machine learning to automatically adapt the hearing aid settings in real time. So no manual adjustments are needed. Another common pain point for people with hearing loss over the years is that they can hear fine in quiet places, but they struggle in background noise. Like my own father, who has a high pitched hearing loss, who has had a hard time hearing people's voices and understanding them when there's a lot of people talking at the same time. My dad's 68, nearing retirement, and like so many others, he has that high pitched hearing loss, but doesn't wear hearing aids. He doesn't feel like he needs them quite yet, We've experimented by putting them on his ears. You see my brother and I are both audiologists, uh, but still he's not really using them on a regular basis. In the noisy restaurant setting, he struggles to hear conversations and misses out on some of the jokes and the stories. So if he used AI powered hearing aids, what they would do on his behalf is suppress some of that background noise so he can hear more clearly the person in front of him. That boosts speech clarity and minimizes those background distractions. So that would be a game changer for him, his wife, and me being his son. But AI isn't just about hearing better. It's also about monitoring your health in ways we've never even seen before. One of the most exciting advancements is biosensors inside of hearing aids. Starkey's Evolve AI hearing aids can track things like your heart rate, overall wellness metrics, your step count, movements, and even detect falls that might trigger an emergency alert warning for seniors who are at a fall risk. These features aren't just for people with hearing loss. Imagine if your hearing device could detect early signs of dementia or heart disease, or even warn you about health changes before they became serious. And that's one example of what excites me the most. We're moving beyond just hearing better, and we're now looking at a future where your hearing devices can also be a preventative health tool. I imagine a world where wearing hearing devices helps you hear better, stay active, you have your AI assistant speaking to your ear, you can chat with them. You know, I've personally used an AI assistant like ChatGPT Voice or Siri or Amazon Alexa, and it's amazing just the productivity and efficiency and education I can get from having that conversation. So with these devices so close and already on your ears and the battery power can last all day, they're a perfect tool to be connected to this internet of things and a very sophisticated AI world. I believe that personalized sound is crucial. Not everyone wants to hear the same type of sound or interface with the auditory world in the same way. Today's hearing aids don't just amplify the sound, they'll also understand your hearing preferences and personalize what you hear in real time. That uses things like machine learning, so you can hear in different environments, voice recognition, prioritizing familiar voices, so you can hear loved ones more clearly, as well as reducing the sound of your own voice, pretty cool, and augmented reality, where future hearing aids will overlay audio clues, like subtitles for real life, or live translation in a foreign country. There's even devices, which we'll show on the screen right now, which combine vision as well as hearing in one. So there's definitely some vision and hearing augmentation, hearing loss, vision loss, hearing aids, glasses. I th think it's all going into the direction where they're going to be connected and communicate with each other. So imagine that you walk into a room and your hearing aid automatically adjusts, which prioritizes the voices you care about, and it tunes down other distractions around you. That's the future, and it's coming a lot sooner than you think. So here are my final thoughts. We're at the beginning of an AI powered revolution in hearing care. Better speech clarity, no more struggling in noise. Biosensors tracking your health, real time adjustments that make hearing effortless. If you're someone who struggles to hear in restaurants, in noisy spaces, or even at home, these AI hearing aids could be life changing. And with the current technology that's out there, we already see our patients getting so much better. So I can't even imagine what this is going to be like in 10 years and how much more common it will be for people to have devices on their ears. My question to you is, do you see hearing aids as just treating hearing loss or could you see them as being part of 
the future in personal health tech with advanced hearing plus a digital assistant like a Siri or Alexa who can help you hear and interface with the world and learn at all times? I want to know. Drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you want to stay ahead of the latest hearing innovation, subscribe to Treble Health. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.